History is a massive stage on which many dramatic events have been played out. It's not for the faint of heart. You've got wars, death, destruction, and general bloodshed. But if you're brave enough to stick around and look, you'll see a lot of interesting, surprising stuff too. Those of you who yawned through a history class while a teacher described what happened in a dusty old book will want to pay attention. School is in session, and it's not like any school you've ever been to. I'm Mike with List 25, with a cold, and here are 25 historical events they didn't teach you in school. 25. Claudette Colvin Rosa Parks made history when she refused to give up her seat on an Alabama bus. She was a game-changing figure in American civil rights. But while she grabbed the world's attention in 1955, she wasn't the first person to make such a move. Claudette Colvin was only 15 when she decided to stand her ground after being told to shift from her seat for a white woman. This took place nine months before the Rosa Parks incident. Shockingly, this young girl was arrested, handcuffed, and locked up in an adult prison in the very same state, Alabama. 24. Native American Code Talkers Did you know that Native Americans were involved in World War II? Beginning in 1940, official U.S. Army code talkers found themselves making code for secret communication purposes. These codes used ancient languages like Navajo, which date back hundreds of years. Alongside them, Uncle Sam hired approximately 14 other Native American nations to confuse Hitler's forces. The practice of bringing in American Indians wasn't new. It had also happened during World War I. Mass audiences got an idea of this secret history when the movie Wind Talkers was released in 2002, starring Nicolas Cage. 23. Chinese Slaughter in Los Angeles LA is the city of angels. However, it's also seen some appalling and disgraceful events take place on its streets. The Chinese Massacre of 1871 is one such gruesome chapter. October that year saw violence breaking out between community associations known as Higuan. These associations had been organized in Chinese society since the Qing Dynasty, so naturally they carried over when the Chinese were settling in the U.S. When local police waded into a shootout in Old Chinatown, a white saloon owner was killed. This led to a violent reprisal, where a 500-strong mob turned vigilante. 18 Chinese people died. They'd been hung by the neck, and worst of all, the perpetrators got away with their crimes. 22. Attack on Wall Street Nine years before the infamous stock market crash that plunged Americans into poverty, a devastating explosion rocked Wall Street. In 1920, a bomb went off outside the offices of J.P. Morgan. The culprits were believed to be anti-capitalist anarchists from Italy, though to this day the case remains unsolved. A supply of gold bars being moved nearby was one of the reasons why criminals may have targeted the area. The terrorist device reportedly detonated from inside a horse-drawn cart at lunchtime. 38 people died, and well over 100 sustained injuries. 21. End of the American Civil War When do you think the American Civil War ended? April 1865? No, it was actually the following year. The Confederates certainly surrendered, but that was only their commander, General Robert E. Lee, talking. Not everyone got the memo. So while the word went out that the war was over, other Confederate forces wanted to keep going. Eventually, a lasting peace was established in late 1866. The war had been raging since April 1861. 20. The Premature Burial of Alexander the Great You're probably aware of that crazy Alexander the Great movie starring Colin Farrell and Angelina Jolie. Spoiler alert, uh, he dies at the end. That said, the real-life death of Alexander is even crazier. He is believed to have died from typhoid fever in 323 BCE, though I'm not talking about when he passed away. I'm talking about when he was buried. In a horrific turn of events, it seems Alexander wasn't actually dead at the time. In 2019, a theory was announced stating that the great man had been given a premature burial. Catherine Hall from the Dunedin School of Medicine in New Zealand reckons he may have suffered from GBS, or Guillain-Barre syndrome. This could explain the paralysis he experienced prior to being declared dead. Was he actually buried alive? Or did the poor man manage to die before that happened? Just the idea gives me the chills. 19. Naked Olympics Who needs spandex when you can just run around naked throwing javelins and doing shot put to your heart's content? Back in the 8th century, the dress code for the ancient Olympics was a little more casual than sporting events today. I guess it's liberating, though... I don't know, riding a horse in the buff? Or doing the triple jump? 
The sand would just get everywhere. I mean everywhere. It's rough, it's coarse. It's... Fun fact, we get the words gym and gymnasium from the Greek gymnos, which essentially means naked. Olive oil was applied to the skin as well, so with all that sunshine, the arena must have smelled like a barbecue. 18. The Acadian Expulsion It's amazing how certain details and even entire people slip under the radar when it comes to mainstream history. The Acadians today live in Canada, in places such as Nova Scotia. In fact, that and other locations in Canada and North America used to be called Acadia. So how do they go from having their own chunk of the world to being under the radar? The answer is the Acadian Expulsion. This happened in 1755. The Acadians were descended from 17th and 18th century French settlers who landed there and set up home. Other people did so too, of course, but most notably, the British. And because Brits had a habit of conquering things back then, they wanted the Acadians to swear allegiance to them, even if it was against their old buddy France. When the Acadians said no, they were violently expelled from their territory. It wasn't quick either. Approximately 10,000 were removed between 1755 and 1778. Many tragically perished, though Louisiana was one place where they thrived. In fact, Cajun culture developed in Louisiana thanks to the Acadians who went there. So, now you know. 17. The Long Death of Rasputin Some historical figures are so notorious that when they die, it's an event in and of itself. One such figure is Rasputin, the mystical and frankly terrifying looking guru who advised Tsar Nicholas II of Russia over a century ago. Otherwise known as the Mad Monk, he caused havoc in high society before being dealt with by the nobility. It wasn't a slow death, either. The plan, orchestrated by Prince Felix Yusupov, was to feed him cakes and wine tainted with cyanide. Incredibly, that didn't work. According to the prince, he then tried shooting him a few times, before finally drowning Rasputin. Now, if this story seems a little over the top to you, then you're probably right. Prince Yusupov admitted to the crime and appears to have exaggerated the details for dramatic effect. Rasputin was certainly shot in the head, so he didn't exactly have a peaceful exit. Anyway, despite what you may have heard in that disco classic by Boney M, the truth is a lot simpler. I can confirm, however, that he was Russia's greatest love machine. Why can I confirm that? <laughs> 16. Senator on the Hoof Caligula was the emperor of Rome between 37 and 41 CE. He has a reputation for being insane, thanks to depictions of him in TV series like I, Claudius, plus an eye-popping softcore porn blockbuster starring a clockwork orange's Malcolm McDowell. Experts take issue with this dramatic interpretation, but still, he lived a colorful life. One of the various things he supposedly did was try and put a horse in the Senate. Named Incantatus, the four-legged friend was clearly beloved of Caligula, though the emperor was reportedly assassinated before the plan could be put into operation. 15. Monkey Executed Believe it or not, a monkey was apparently executed for treason in England in the early 19th century. Against the backdrop of the Napoleonic Wars, the northeast town of Harlepool saw a terrible tale of animal cruelty unfold. When a French ship was wrecked on their coastline, locals reportedly found a monkey. Because the poor creature was dressed in a little military uniform, they thought he might be an enemy spy. The story goes that the monkey was then tried and hung in the town square. However, I'm thinking this should be taken with a pinch of salt. The details of this particular bit of monkey business haven't been verified. 14. Goodbye, Porky Pig In a bizarre and shockingly grim event, a pig was also hung. The execution took place in Normandy in 1386. The pig was accused of fatally attacking a baby. Not only was it put on trial before being found guilty, it was cut on its face. Adding to the horrific atmosphere was the fact that other pigs were made to watch the hanging. Different times. 13. Replica Paris During World War I, a stunning display of ingenuity led to the creation of a fake Paris. To avoid destruction by German bombs, an Italian called Fernand Giacopozzi, what a name, began constructing the artificial city in 1917. The elaborate project reportedly involved a fake train station with a train that moved for added realism. Tragically, Paris itself was attacked before the fake version could be unveiled, and the war was over before everything could be set up anyway. I'm sure Giacopozzi and company weren't disappointed about that. 12. The Medieval Cat War Cats are unpopular with some people, but would you go so far as to declare war on them? 
This is precisely what Catholic Pope Gregory IX did in the early 1230s, according to certain sources. Believing cats to be the puppets of the devil, Gregory ordered a purge of the furballs. His actions may have even contributed to the Black Death, because rats were then free to come and go as they pleased. Is that what actually happened, or is it a crude stereotype of how God-fearing people behaved in medieval times? Either way, the idea of humans versus cats continues to this day. 11. The 38-Minute War When war breaks out, you want it to be over with as quickly as possible. A collective sigh of relief must have gone up in 1896 when the Anglo-Zanzibar War flared up and fizzled out in just over half an hour. Yes, apparently the conflict lasted a mere 38 minutes. Some state it went on as long as 45 minutes, which still isn't bad. What was the war about? Well, it had its roots in tensions between the British and what was then the Sultanate of Zanzibar. The Royal Navy unleashed hell on their opponents, making their victory brutal and short. Hundreds of the Sultan's fighters were killed or injured, in spite of the war lasting so little time. 10. Red Summer When men came home to America from fighting in the First World War, you would think it'd be a happy time. Instead, the summer of 1919 was a hotbed of racial tension and terrible violence, which revolved around social inequality and the aftermath of this global conflict. Because black people were seen as taking the jobs of white people who had been away fighting, the latter decided to go on the attack. Soon, a race war had flared up across the states. The truth was that black people were there seeking prosperity, having relocated from the south to the north. Also, they fought for their country too. Red Summer says it all. Men familiar with life on the battlefield used bloodshed to try and get their way. Approximately 25 riots took place in America before the government acted and called in the army. By that point, hundreds had died. Though worryingly, that's only an estimate. 9. The first ever parliament. Democracy is the glue that binds human society together. It lacks a certain amount of stickiness at times, but hey, it's the best system we got, right? One thing they definitely didn't teach me in school was this. What was the first ever parliament? I was surprised by the answer. Iceland. I don't know exactly why that surprised me. I mean, it's a perfectly decent place. It's just not what I was expecting. I mean, did you expect it to be in Iceland? Let me know in the comments if you were surprised like me. This parliament was named Althing. It translates as General Assembly. As for the actual word, parliament being used, that goes back to medieval England. Specifically the year 1241, when King Henry III sat on the throne. 8. The First Ever Lottery The idea of a lottery dates back all the way to ancient Rome and the reign of Emperor Augustus. That said, it was more of a fundraiser with money needed for repairs. Still, tickets were issued for the occasion. A more recognizable version of the lottery took place in Brugge during medieval times, where a big money prize was on offer. We're still a long way off from the classic three lemons in a row, though. 7. Light bulb. Thomas Edison's name is associated with various inventions. The light bulb is just one of the things linked to the prolific man. However, while he patented a bulb in 1879, there were others involved in the buildup to this moment. Edison formed a company with the physicist Joseph Swan, which released light bulbs. Before that, they'd been in a dispute over the patent for it. Some other key figures in the development of the light bulb are Alessandro Volta and Humphrey Davy. Volta invented the electric battery, plus the word volt comes from him. Meanwhile, Davy was influential in the area of lamps. It isn't a straightforward story at all. 6. Who discovered America first? Pfft, that's an easy one. Christopher Columbus in 1492. Or was it? Some think the first visitor to America was a Norse Viking named Leif Erikson. A whole half a millennium earlier, he led an expedition that wound up on the shores of a new place a place that would become known as the United States. This version of events is disputed by some, who say it's based on ancient legend and not conclusive proof that Erickson beat Columbus. Adding to the confusion is the fact that Columbus spotted the coastline of America but never set foot there. The whole story is a messy one. Take the Irish, for example, who think St. Brendan discovered America in the 6th century. What about Native American ancestors, who must have landed there? I don't know who discovered America first, all I know is that you'll give yourself a headache trying to work it all out. 5. Armenian Genocide World War I featured many atrocities, but the Armenian Genocide was truly shocking. It's thought that up to a million Armenians were murdered by Turkey's government. 
Referred to as the Young Turks, this administration overthrew the existing order of the Ottoman Empire in 1908. Existing racial hatred against Armenians in the country came to a head with the brutal attacks of 1915. Though it took a long time for history to acknowledge the scale of the devastation, the crime has been recognized as a genocide. 4. Tulsa Massacre In late May 1921, a teenager named Dick Rowland was accused of assault in the city of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Because these were turbulent times, and due to Rowland being a person of color, the local community banded around the young man. As you can imagine, the heated atmosphere led to shocking violence. The neighborhood of Greenwood was descended upon by mobs of attackers. This led to over 300 people being murdered with extensive damage to property. Greenwood was a thriving business district before the events of the Tulsa Massacre. It's believed their prosperity was a source of envy, though the flames of racial prejudice were also fanned by the Dick Rowland case. These deeply upsetting events were dramatized in the HBO series Watchmen around a century later. Many who watched were finding out about this atrocity for the first time. 3. The Great Fire of London When an entire city catches fire, it's a recipe for outright disaster. In 1666, England's capital went up in flames. Its wooden structures were consumed by a raging fire, which apparently started through an oven at a baker's shop. You may have heard of the Great Fire and figured it would be pretty devastating. And it was. But wait until you hear how many people lost their lives in the tragedy. 6. Of course, this might be a flippant comment. Six fatalities were recorded, but that doesn't mean there weren't many more. It's a surprisingly small figure, regardless. 2. The Trail of Tears It doesn't take a history expert to know that Native Americans were mistreated by settlers who went on to found the United States. One harrowing feature of this is the Trail of Tears. Throughout the 1830s, tribes were moved from their homelands. They were headed for somewhere designated Indian Territory, and the displaced people had to travel hundreds of miles to reach it. Previously, they'd been one with the land in Georgia, Alabama, and Florida, among other places. Unfortunately for them, these were earmarked for growing cotton, and the Native Americans didn't fit in with their business plan. Starting with the Choctaw, approximately 100,000 indigenous Americans were marched to their new home across the Mississippi. Around 15,000 are believed to have died in the process. 1. The Great Leap Forward This next event has been described as the biggest mass murder in the history of the world. Despite that, I never heard of it until making this video. Referred to as the Great Leap Forward, it saw tens of millions of people killed in China between the late 1950s and early 60s. In charge of this brutal massacre was Mao Zedong, the country's ruler. He wanted China to follow his communist strategy at all costs, even if it meant intimidating, attacking, and killing his people. Many of the details here are too upsetting to talk about. Mao wanted social change, and instead, his actions caused death on an enormous scale. So, did you learn of any of these in school? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out our social medias, including my personal ones, links in that description. And don't worry, this isn't the end of our look at surprising chapters of history. We have another video right here, 25 historical events that you didn't know of, ready for you to watch. Just click it, follow the link, and I'll see you soon for another list right here.